1 Corinthians 126 to 31. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many uh, mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of this world to put to shame the things which are mighty and the base things of the world uh, and the, the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are. Amen. That no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him you are in Christ, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That as it is written, he who glories, Amen. glory in the Lord. Hallelujah. Got a message the Lord gave me today for you called... Where you are is not where you finish. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody? Mm -hmm. Or where you are called, we're called, is not where you finish. That's right. Uh, or as we say it in the, in the hills of Kentucky, God makes you what you ain't. That's Amen, right. somebody? Right. Where you are is not where you finish. We see this truth all throughout the Bible. Uh, Joseph was a slave, but he ended up the second in command to the Pharaoh. Amen, somebody? Amen. Peter was a cussing sailor, a fisherman. David was a shepherd boy. Jonah was a racist. Paul was a murderer. Gideon had a lot of insecurity. Matthew was borderline mafia, taxing his own people. Uh, Thomas was a doubter. Mary was a hooker. Moses was a stutterer and a murderer. Abraham was old, and Lazarus was flat out dead. Amen, somebody? But where you are is not where you finish, and that's what I've come here today to tell you. Maybe you're going through a process, like um, like in that song we just heard about there. I don't know what you're doing. You're up to something, but it feels like chaos, but somehow there's peace. Where you are is not where you finish. To this list, I could add a lot of people in this room. I could add Doug. I could add Tom. I could add Alex. I could add Joshua. Everybody. Uh, and, and myself included, man. Uh, not only did he take all these guys, uh, when, when he called me, I was prisoner Chuck before I was pastor Chuck. And from that time, uh, there's been a lot of uphill battles, you know. That, you know, a lot of times when you give these testimonies, you, you, you come up here and you see the finished product or the polished version. But, uh, man, it, it, there's a song called It's a Long Way to Memphis. Amen, somebody? And it's, it's a long way from here to where you were to where you finish or to yeah. where God's called you to be. There's about a thousand deaths to self that needs yes, to happen in here. There's a thousand times yeah. that you've got to right. bend the knee no, and say, my Lord, my God, hey, take the right away. Jesus, take the wheel. Amen. And so, man, I, 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 I've been on that journey. I, I'm on that journey, and I have yet to arrive at that destination. That's right. That's right. And, uh, man, in my time, the Lord has, has, has been the rock in my sling to slay a lot of giants that were laughing at me, calling out to me, pushing me down. You're never going to do it. You're never going to overcome it. This and that, but even to this day, there's still giants that speak to me that I must stand up and, and rise against. And so, friends, I don't, I don't know where you're at right now. I don't know where you were calling me. Thank God you're not where you was. Amen. Amen. Uh, but but with that, in order to get where he has called each of you to be, each and every one of you Amen. to be, there's going to be a lot of um, friction points. There's going to be a lot of setbacks. There's going to be a lot of people that are not in favor of the things of God, right. of the purpose of God. We just saw that today in the praise reports when we're handing out Bibles. Okay, we got some favor, and then someone says, hey, your people were handing out the Word of God. You know, so there's going to be people that would thwart the purposes of God. And so what I wanted to share with you today, I, I've had my uphill battles to, um, to get um, from where I was to where I'll finish. And, uh, I, and, uh, and, and in order to do that, there's a lot of times where I've had to say no to certain places, to certain things, to certain stuff. Um, I've had to learn to love people from a distance. I've had to learn to shut doors that need shutting. I've had to learn to humiliate myself when someone else was wrong and come under that and, and be willing to serve. In Hebrews uh, 12, 1 and 2, it says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Let me hit pause right there. I love the fact that the Word of God says, let us lay aside the weight and the sin. 
Friends, this isn't a 100-yard dash. This is a marathon. And That's sometimes, right. sometimes the things that's slowing you down in this race don't necessarily go in the sin box. That's right. Amen? There, I can have good things slowing me down, but just because something's good doesn't mean it's great. And just because something's great that's doesn't right. mean it's God. Preach it, brother. Amen, somebody? Amen. And so with that, sometimes i got to say, say goodbye to certain things I like to do or entertainment choices or, 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 or relationships. I've had good godly friendships. But I find that sometimes they bring out maybe the, a side of me that I'm trying to, to murder. You know, I don't want I don't want that guy coming out to play anymore. Right. And so right. sometimes, man, you got to lay aside the, the, the weights, the things that are slowing you down, mm -hmm. and the sin. That's right. In order to get from where you were to where you finish. That's right. And the way we do that is looking unto Jesus, man. Uh, they, 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 someone once said, uh, "There's a reason that the windshield is bigger than the rear view." Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody. Uh, we look unto Jesus and, 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 and the author and finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Cause for his value. Jesus looked at the cross. Man, this is going to hurt. This is going to be painful. This and this. But look what I get. Amen. I, I, go, I go up there. You're, God the Father, you're telling me I get a Shelley, I get a Pete, I get a Joshua, I get a John. Amen. You know, uh, then it's worth it for the joy set before him, the relationship that he would have with you. And so he casts aside the weight and the sin, and he doesn't ask us to do anything he didn't do himself. That's right. And so with that, uh, where you are is not where you finish. And I think one of the best examples of that in the Bible is the story of Nehemiah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. This guy was the butler. Amen, somebody? And then he becomes the governor. He was, you know, oh, here, Pete, let me top this off here for you, you know. That's Nehemiah. That was his job. And all of a sudden, the Lord, and the only requirement for this guy to go from butler to governor is he had a burden. That's right. He had a burden. Do you have a burden today? Yes. Do you have a burden today for someone, for a group of people, for a, a county, for this, for that? Uh, Nehemiah had a burden. If there was, could you just imagine this guy riding into Jerusalem? It's okay, everybody. I'm here. You know, the butler's here. We're gonna we're gonna rebuild this this church. We're gonna rebuild it all. You know, my God, God does not. What I want you to get today, and why I showed you my mugshot, and to show you all these names, and to show you this is the good news is that God doesn't call the qualified. That's right. Amen. That's right. Not many of you were noble. Not many of you were strong. You know, he chose the weak things to, to, to lead the strong, the foolish things to shame the wise. He doesn't call the qualified. That's right. He qualifies those he calls. God's not looking for your ability today. That's right. Amen? Amen. So take a deep breath. He's not looking for your ability. He's looking for your availability. He's looking for Isaiah's. Here I am, Lord. Send me. The fact that you're all even in this room on a Saturday and you're willing to go into jail, that tells me he's looking for you guys. That's right. Amen, yeah. somebody? Amen. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. And so listen, I, I want to show you the story of Nehemiah because I've always loved this story. God called him to build something. In one way or another, he's called all of you to build something. Your family, ties, your, your relationships, uh, the things behind the jails. And Nehemiah, man, if there was anybody that ever had a lot of setbacks and, thing, and things trying to deter the work of the mm -hmm. Lord... Nehemiah. Right. And so I, I want to share these things with you, and then I'm also going to sprinkle in there uh, how the Lord took me from prisoner to pastor and some of the setbacks I've had. Um, but what I want you to get today is where you are is not where you finish. So let's look at this. Nehemiah chapter 1, verse uh, 1 to 4. The words of Nehemiah, the son of, I'm not even trying to pronounce that name right there. Hakaliah. That's what I said. That's my guess. It came to pass <laughs> in the month of Chislev, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the citadel, that, Lisa? What? Hananiah? Hanani. Hanani. <laughs> Again, it's not that I'm pronouncing, I say this all the time, it's not that I'm pronouncing these names wrong. This is how we pronounce them in the great state of Kentucky. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, y'all. They're hard. This is how we say it. I don't know how they said it. You figure it this out. This is how we say it. <laughs> yeah. Say it. yeah. And so one of my brothers, my, my, my Jewish brothers, came with men from Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped, who had survived the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. He's like, how, did, how are things going? What's happening in Jerusalem? You know, and, 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 and they said to me, the survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The people of God are being made fun of. They're being laughed at. They're, they're ashamed that nothing's happening. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates are burned with fire. And so it was. When I heard these words that I sat down, and I wept, and I mourned for many days, I was fasting and praying 
before the God of heaven. God put a burden on this guy. Mm -hmm. And he fasted. He mourned. He covered himself in sackcloth and ashes and all this stuff. And he just said, God, you know, your glory, you know, these gates lie in ruin, you know. And he was, he was more concerned about God's glory than, than his own. Mm -hmm. And so anyways, he gets, he gets this burden and he's, he's got to go back to work. A lot of times these, these things that are troubling us, uh, they don't take a break just because you've got to go to work on Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Right. Amen, somebody? Mm -hmm. And so Nehemiah is the, the butler, the cupbearer to the king. And, and, and in ancient Persia, they had this rule that you couldn't be in a bad mood around the king. You, he only wanted happy people mm -hmm. around him in this night. If you came in there, man, that was grounds for death. You know, it was a rule. And when the Medes made a, a, a rule, there wasn't no, no revoking it. So anyways, Nehemiah, he's got this burden, man. He says, the Lord laid something on his heart and it won't go away. And so it came to pass in the month of Nisan uh, that the 20th year of King Xerxes, when, when wine was before him, that I took the wine and gave it to the king. Now, I had never been sad in his presence before. Therefore, the king said to me, why is your face sad since you're not sick? This is nothing but a sorrow of the heart. So I became dreadfully afraid. He's like, oh, man, bust it. And I said to the king, uh, may the king live forever, but why should my face not be sad when the city, the place of my father's tombs, lies waste and its gates are burned with fire? Then the king said to me, what do you request? This guy's the king. Hallelujah. You ask him what he requests. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right. But That's Nehemiah right. had a little something we used to like to call back in the day favor. That's right. Amen, somebody? Amen. He had some favor, and so, man, he, he, he prayed. He prayed. Anybody ever do one of them prayers just real quick? Lord, help me when I before I talk to this brother. Yeah. Lord, just give me the word, you know? And so he prayed under God of heaven, and I, and I said to the king, well, if it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tomb, that I may rebuild it. Then the king said to me, and the queen was also set beside him, how long will your journey be, and when will you return? Let me hit pause right here. I guarantee you, there's no way he said it's going to take 52 days. <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't know. Yeah, he had right. no idea. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, he gave him some kind of number. It doesn't require. I really wish it would have recorded what number he gave. Six months, a year, this and that. But no, 52 days, you're going to see. But either way, his request, so it pleased the king to send me. And, and, and I sent him, and, and I set him a time. He's like, this is how long I'm going to be, this and that. And it pleased the king. God wants to send you. That's right. It pleases him mm. to send you to repair the breach, yes. to rebuild the broken oh, walls. Yeah. It yeah. pleases yeah. him. Yeah. You sit there and we pray, oh, God, I don't know if, if God wants to use me. Yes. He yes, wants he to does. use you. Yes, Hallelujah. he wants to open doors. Yes, he wants. It's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come That's to repentance. Right. Amen, right. somebody? And so with that, anytime God's ever done something in the history of the world, he's always sent a person to do it. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. I just listed a whole bunch of them. And so Amen. God is pleased to send you. So. God's got a calling on all your life. That's that's not a question. And and some some we tend to look at uh, some cons like, well, I'm just a mother. Uh, John Wesley's mother was a mother, amen. And her boys changed the planet, you know. And I could go on and on. Billy Graham's mom was a mother, amen. Somebody. And so it, it's not that some calls are, are, are more prestigious than others, man. Uh, God's called you all to something individual, and don't ever minimize that. Don't minimize that. Legitimize that. Amen. 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 And so with that, but whatever it is, I promise you that whatever it is, you're, there's going to be friction. Satan's not going to go gentle into that good night. He's not just going to roll over and show you his belly and be like, yeah, go ahead and build whatever you want for God. Absolutely yeah. not. And we see that in the story of Nehemiah. First of all, Nehemiah, he sneaks into town at night, doesn't go announcing it like a trumpet like some of us do on Facebook. But like, you know, here we go. He just right. slips right on in there, checks the situation, and then he rolls back his sleeves. He's like, I've been sent. Let's get to work. Well, the first thing that Nehemiah encountered in all of this was the naysayers. I am here to tell you after 16 years of walking with the Lord in ministry and building stuff, Doug, I'm here to tell you there's going to be some naysayers in your life. Amen, somebody? Yeah. Uh, you'll always have those people, and, and we'll get to them in a second. But here's Nehemiah's. Uh, I don't know where they get these names. But when Sanballat, the, the Horonite, uh, Horonite? I don't even know. Tobiah, the Amorite, the official, and, and Geshem, the Arab, heard of it, they laughed at us and despised us and said, what is this thing that you're doing? Will you rebel against the king? They're, they're already tearing it apart, man. 
Uh, I've often found that there's like two, there, there's two types of people. There's the creators and then there's the critics. Amen. And the critics always want to tear apart something somebody else is building or trying to do for the Lord. And these guys are it. Uh, we see it again. And so here it is two chapters later. Man, two chapters in, in, in a Bible could be a thousand years. Amen. It's not in this case, you know. But man, two chapters, a lot can happen in two chapters. And here it is two chapters later, you know, which would have maybe been, uh, you know, uh, a couple weeks or something like that. But so it happened when Sanballat heard that we were rebuilding the wall. They nay say, but now, okay, they're talking about building the wall. They're talking about what are they going to do, rebuild the wall? Okay, now they're actually doing it. When they heard that we were actually rebuilding the wall, they were furious and indigent, and they mocked the Jews. And he spoke before his brother. I like how these uh, these uh, gossipers, these, these naysayers, man, they can't ever just look in the mirror and gossip to themselves, man. They always want to say it to everybody. Oh, hey, have you heard about so-and-so, Tom? Have you heard what they're doing down there at Tommy Bay? church? Have you heard their own right there at Grace Fellowship? You know, that's what they do. They go around and they tell anybody. Right. They're like little right. social butterflies. More like a, a, a crap bird, really. That You ever get a bird to come by and crap on you? That's what these guys are, you know? And so, and before he spoke, he spoke this in front of his brethren and the whole army. He's telling anybody and everybody, listen, well, so-and-so. And he's like, what are these feeble Jews doing? Will they fortify themselves? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they complete it in a day? You know, will they revive the stones from the heaps of rubbish and stones that are burned? I love this. The, the, the stones of the city that they got to, the, their building materials are burned. Man, the Nebuchadnezzar was very efficient when he destroyed the temple, the city, and all their building material got done. Uh, you know, ashes on them and this and that. And, and they're like, listen, there's no way that they can come back from this. Friends, how many times has someone said that to you? Well, you don't know where so-and-so's been. You don't know what Shelley's did. You know, she, isn't this the same Doug who used to, to do this? Or ain't that the same Chuck who used to lie to me, who used to rob me? There's no coming back from that. This guy's an alcoholic. Uh, a leopard doesn't change his spots. Anyone ever hear that yeah, one? You know, yeah, once yeah, the same, yeah, always the same. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. And that's exactly what these guys are saying. Are they going to take the stones from the heaps of rubbish? This guy's done this. There, there's no helping him. Get, get, get rid of him. Man, that's the voice of the devil. Yeah, that's right. Mom, that's wants right. to always bring up your past. I tell you one thing that's encouraging. When I got out of rehab, everybody started bringing up my past. Well, this guy's done this, and this guy's done that. And I heard someone once say, I done what you say I've done. But I'm not who you say. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Corinthians 5.17, yeah. if anyone's in Christ... He's a new creation. That's right. Yes, yes, Old yes. things have passed away. Behold, yes. all oh, things have been yes. oh. And so with that, I, I take their insults. You know what? You're, you're, maybe I will fail. Maybe I will go back the way I came. But, buddy, I'm going to die trying. You that's know? right. And that's so after right. a while, what really encouraged me is as the years went by, I started noticing that these same naysayers, they weren't bringing up stuff in the present anymore. Mm -hmm. That's All they right. had was ammo from the that's past. Right. Yep. Amen. And that's, that's right. an encouragement to me. What else you got? You ain't got anything that's new? Right. Yep. Give me something right. new. Hallelujah. You know? And so will they revive the stones from the heaps of rubbish, stones that are burned? Now, Tobiah the Amorite, this other guy, was beside him. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And that's what they do, man. They get in there like a bunch of parrots. Hey, you're right. You're right. You're right. Whatever they build, even a fox goes up on it. He'll break down the stone wall. And so those are the naysayers. Those are the first people that I had to encounter when I got out of rehab and excess and, and people and this and that. Well, you this and that, you this and that, you know. And so in order to go from where you are to where you finish, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to reject <coughs> the naysayers. Hallelujah. They will always be there from start to finish. But they're always the first group to show up, I've found. Now, when all their naysaying doesn't get you to cower, to bend the knee, to say, oh, you're right, you're right, I'm this, I'm always going to be like this, and you're, you're the good one, and I'm the bad one. When they can't get you to bend the knee to that, then uh, the next thing they're going to do is uh, turn into sabotagers, uh -huh. the, the saboteurs. Mm -hmm. uh, we see this in Nehemiah chapter 4. Now, now they're talking, ain't nothing, they're, they're talking, they're, they're, their poisonous words ain't doing nothing. So, and I love, <laughs> I love this. So we built the wall, you know. That's right. They're doing all this naysaying, so we built the wall. You know, let them talk. You know, they're just all talk. And so we it's built the building. wall. And the entire wall was joined together up to half its height. So, you know, for the people, I uh, had a mind to work. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Man, if we could just get that in the church, you know. If we could just get that here at the jail ministry. Amen. Amen. Unity. Unity of one purpose. Yes. It says in Acts that they sold all their possessions and they came together. 
and with one mind. Yes. That's what yes, the church brother. is mm -hmm. supposed to be. Right. Yes. Guys, I hear a lot of people down in the church and down in religion, but let me tell you something. The church is the bride of Christ. That's right. It says, yeah. husbands, love your wife as Christ, Christ loved, loved the church. The church. Amen. Christ died for the church. That's right. That's yeah. right. Amen, somebody? Amen. Now, let me ask you something. Now, let me tell you something. If someone comes to me and they're like, oh, I just love that Pastor Chuck, but I can't stand that Lisa. <laughs> Amen, somebody? Mm. Oh, I, I just Pastor Chuck this. And that Lisa, I just, I can't stand her. You know, I just, you know. Man, uh, if you got a problem with my wife... <laughs> Buddy, you got a problem with me. Amen. Amen. Amen somebody? That's it. And so you can't say you Amen. love Christ if you don't love his bride. That's right. Love his brother. That's right. I love Amen. your brother. Mm -hmm. I love your brother. That one was free. Amen. The next one, the next one will cost brother. you. Amen. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes. And so they come together and, and with one mind to work. And again, unity doesn't mean conformity. I don't have yeah, to believe what you right. believe to, yeah. to do that. As a matter of fact, I don't believe with a lot of you guys on a lot of your stuff. But I still love you. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I'll still build with you. Amen. Right. Amen. I'll still pray for you. Hold that's your right. arms up. That's right. So we come together with one mind to work. Because that's the only way that God's calling and God's commission will work. Is if we lay down all that stuff that's and come right. together. Yeah. And so now it happened. When Sanballat, Tobiah, and the Arabs and the Armorites, they're, they're getting more people, and the Ashadites and just about every other site known to man, uh, when they heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being restored, mm -hmm. that they were actually doing something, that the gaps were beginning to be closed, that they became very angry because that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And all of them conspired together to come and attack. They're having little backroom meetings and little things over here. And you know, like they do. And so they're, oh, we're going to attack them. Oh, yeah, we're going to attack them. And so they're trying to flat it. They, they've went from naysaying to sabotage. Yeah. They're trying to trip you up. Amen, somebody? And, 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 and they'll, they'll do that to you. They'll go around and talk to you or talk to the senior pastor about you. Have you seen, you know, you know that Larry used to do this. You know, that, that, that Mary, I heard Mary one time did this. You know, and they try to sabotage your calling on that. And now you would think, you would think that, hey, this is the church, this is the people of God, we shouldn't have had that, you know? You know what the number one objection to attending church is? Amen? It's full of hypocrites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they yeah. say. Yeah. Friends, that's like saying I'm not going to go to the gym because it's full of fat people. Amen, somebody? Yeah. Right. That's ridiculous. Amen? How many times has McDonald's messed up your order and you keep going back to Amen. it? Amen, yeah. somebody? Right. Right. But then the church messes up one time. Oh, I'm not going there. It's full of hypocrites. Right. Well, let me tell you something. The church is full of hypocrites. That's right. Because that's what the Bible says. That's right. It says that the wheat and the tares are going to grow up together. That's right. Yeah. And so as it turns out, the number one objection to all Christians, I won't go there, is full of hypocrites. They're right. Mm -hmm. They're right. But they're going to, the, these, these people, and, 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 and it, let me ask you a question. Who does the Bible said sowed those seeds? Mm -hmm. Satan. 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 The that's enemy. Right. That's right. Enemy. So there's going to be children of God in the church, mm -hmm. and there's going to be children of the devil. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you've ever looked at a picture of wheat and tares, they look exactly alike. Yeah. Yes. Until, <laughs> until yes. harvest time. Yep. That's right. Yep. Amen, that's right. somebody? And so that tells me there's going to be people in the church that look like Christians, walk that's like Christians, right. talk like Christians, Come on. but they ain't Christians. Yes, yeah. Amen, that's somebody? Right. Mm -hmm. They're the seeds mm -hmm. of Satan. And so those people, and Jesus said, hey, listen, you want to know who's who? You'll know them by their fruit. By their fruit. That's yeah. it. Amen. That's it. I can tell the internal condition of a banana by looking at its external appearance. Amen, somebody? You're going to know that's it by right. now. You, you want a banana? Nope. nope. Yeah. I'll take that that's clean right. apple over there, though. You know, you got that. And so all of them conspired together to come and attack the tree. It ought not to be so. But, friends, there are enemies on this side of the wall. And on the inside that's of the wall, right. as you're going to see. Yeah, today. yeah. That's and so right. they, they want to attack and they want to create. Look what they want to do. Their, their objective. They want to attack, but what do they want to do? Confusion. Confusion. Who is the author of confusion? Satan. The devil. They just want to mix it all up. Well, so and so, so and this and that. You know, uh, man. I just I got a I got a very low fuse for that. That I just I don't. I worked very hard to separate myself from the drama, yes. you know, and so there's just yes. some people, i got family members, I won't name it since we're filming it, but man, it's just like they like to come in a room and just like throw a grenade and then sit there at Christmas and watch yeah. everyone else yeah. just go, you know, I'm like, get on with that, man, Yeah. you know, and I ain't got no time for that. 
Right. So with that, they, they're trying to create confusion. Jumping no, ahead to 19, uh, 9, 16 to 17. And so here they are. They're trying to attack. They're trying to confuse. Nevertheless. That's right. Nevertheless, despite what these people are doing, we made our prayer to yes. God. Friends, you don't have any control over how others act. That's right. Amen? That's right. The yeah. only thing you have control over is how you choose to react yes. to them. Yep. Amen? Right. Yep. That's why it says we fix our eyes on Jesus. Yes. And so nevertheless, we made our prayer oh, to God. Lord, and because yeah. because if you're looking at this, man, you're not going to be getting your, your daily work orders from this. Right. And so because of that, we set a watch against the enemy now, day and night. Now, I love this. Because, you know, uh, like there, there, there's two sides of the coin. Well, don't even worry about them. They're just naysayers. They're just sabotagers. But if you notice here... Nehemiah took the threat seriously. Mm -hmm. He didn't stick his head in the sand on it. Amen? Okay. But at the same time, he didn't stop the work either. You know? Okay. And so he come up with something really genius here. Um, so it was from that time on that half of my servants worked at construction. You know, they're here sanding the stuff. Uh, while the other half held spears on the, on the shields, the bows, and they wore armor. And the leaders were behind the house of Judah. Oh, man. If we could just get the leaders behind us. Amen. Somebody, yes. the leaders of the jails, the leaders yes. of the country, right. the leaders of this. Yes. Oh, right. man, if we could just get some buy-in on that. Yes. And so yes. those who built on the wall and those who carried the burdens, each of us got different things. Mm -hmm. They loaded themselves so that with one hand they worked with construction and with the other hand they held a weapon. Hallelujah. Offense and, and defense. defense. Hallelujah. That's how Hallelujah. you build. Sometimes you strike out and you gain territory like we're trying to do here this year to get into some more territories. Mm -hmm. But then there's other times we need to just take a break and defend what we've, what we've Amen. built. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because there are people, again, who are trying to attack and create confusion. Mm -hmm. Sabotagers. When they, when they realize all their little yapping doesn't do anything, then they start trying to tip the scales on you. And I'm here to tell you, they're, they're in your families. They're in your job. You guys are going to have, uh, even if you've got like a secular job that has nothing to do with that. Uh, Mary works at a cleaning crew. I don't know yep. what the rest of you all do. Uh, but with that, you're going to have people in there that just don't like that's you. Right. Yep, you know, right. for whatever reason. They might not even know that. You, they should know you're a Christian. Amen. Yeah. Somebody, but let's just say they don't. There's something in their spirit or in their, because of their father. Amen. They're just going to not like you for that's not right. liking you personally. Yeah. Right. And they're going to try to thwart you from advancement in that. Yeah, right. Now, on a side note, I'm here to tell you that if the person God's put over you to open the doors for you doesn't open those doors, he's going to put somebody else there that will Amen. open those doors. Amen. 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 So next. Next. Once they, once they fail at naysaying, once they fail at trying to sabotage you, then they want to play games with you. Mm -hmm. These are the game players. Mm -hmm. These are the, the distractions. Nehemiah says, now it happened when Samballat, Tobiah, Gershom, and the Arab, and the rest of the our enemies had heard. Uh, make no mistake, these are your enemies. Amen? If they're enemies of God, they're enemies of you. Now, at the same time, it says, love your enemies, you know, and, and this and that, and vengeance is mine, say the Lord. But let you know, you're at war. You might not like it, you might not agree with it, but there's a war going on. Yes. And you're in it. So when they heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there were no breaks left in it. Oh, it's starting to get coming together. Though at the time, I'd not yet hung the doors. In the I like Nehemiah. He seems like a little bit of a perfectionist here. He wanted to make sure it was out. Though at the time, I hadn't done all this yet, you know. I like that. And so I hadn't hung the doors yet. That Sam Ballard and, and, and Gisham sent to me saying, Come, let us meet together among the villages in the mm -hmm. plan of, oh no. Mm -hmm. And Nehemiah's like, Oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, yeah. but they thought to they thought to do me harm. So mm -hmm. I sent messengers to them saying, "I'm doing a great work, so that I can't come down." God, I love that. I oh, want to be oh, more yeah. like that to the game players in my oh, life. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm doing a good work. I can't come down. I ain't got time for you now. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> yeah. Ain't somebody? Amen. I'm doing a great... And, and so they, they want to play the game. They want to sit there and, and, and play church. Oh, come on, brother. Come on, sister. This and that. Oh, you know, and man, I, I tell you what, man. It's, it's not the big bear outside the tent that gets me. It's the little mosquito in it buzzing around when yes. you're trying to... That's what really irks me to death. And these guys want to play a game. I'm like, listen, if you if you if you don't want to, you know, ask for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. But choose this day whom you're going to serve. You want to serve the God of the Amorites? Do that. But don't sit here, come in here under the banner of Christ and play with me. <coughs> amen, somebody? Right, amen, yeah. Amen. I take that I take that personal that's because right. that's my king. That's right. And, and, and man, when I graduated rehab after 15 months, you know what they told me? 
They said, listen, you, you, you've been here 15 months. At this point, you know just enough about Jesus to go out there and give him a bad name. Yeah. Put a sour taste in the rest of the world's mouth. We've seen right. a bunch of our other students do it before. And I, I can't stand that. So he said, these guys want to play the game, you know. And he's like, I'm doing a great work. I can't come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? Mm -hmm. Now watch this. But they sent this message four times. And I answered the same matter. These game players, man, they like to circle the block. Amen. They like to circle the block and test the defense perimeters. Amen, somebody? Amen. Every time I've ever been to jail, uh, it doesn't matter if I'm there an hour or two. I'll hear the door cling shut behind me, you know, either it's, it's metal or it's electronic. Conk. I know that door's shut. I know it's secure and I'm not getting out. But at some point or another, before I get bonded out, I will, and usually there's a window on it. I think that's just cruel, you know. What's going on out there? But uh, it, it usually at some point or another, I'll go up to that door, and I'll just give it a little poke. See if it's really locked. Amen, somebody? And, and what's funny about this, Alex, I'm telling you, what's funny about this is, uh, if you sit there and watch that door long enough, everybody else, all the other mice in the cage, will go up at some point and... So I'm checking. Well, like, what am I going to do if that thing opens? Usually I was there for a DUI or a possession. Like, I'm going to make a prison break and go on the lam for this uh, for a $200 fine, you know? But with that, man, that's what the enemy does. Yeah. Amen, somebody? Yeah, he he likes to come in there and check those defense perimeters. Mm -hmm. he, he, do they got any unforgiveness in their heart, like Mary was talking about on that prayer request earlier? Um, are, are, are they holding on to hidden sin? Are they looking at things on their phone that they shouldn't have? Have they gotten pride and haunty and lifted up on this thing? And so four times they circled the block for these guys. Come on and play with us. Come on and play. Come on and play. And four times, I'm doing a great work. Hallelujah. Man, sometimes the, the enemy likes to circle the block for you, friends. Right. And you're going to have to keep right. putting that wall up. And so speaking of that, the enemy. Let's, let's, let's look at the, uh, the puppet master behind the, the curtain here. Um, Nehemiah. Then... Very next verse. Then Sam Ballot sent his servant to me, asked before. So four times. This is the fifth time now. The fifth time with an open letter in his hand. Mm -hmm. Now, when they can't naysay you, mm -hmm. when they can't sabotage you, when they can't get you to play the game to, to appeal to your vanity and your pride, then the only thing they have left is to threaten you. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing they do. They want to put fear in you this and that and so they he sent the fifth time when he realized okay he's not playing this game it was he sent a letter in it was written it is reported among the nations uh that you and the jews plan to rebel now nehemiah is a man under authority the highest authority and the, the, the king of assyria therefore according to these rumors you're rebuilding the wall that you may be their king. And that's what Satan likes to do, right? Yeah, he likes to take a, a little bit, like about 20% of the truth. That's and right. they were rebuilding the wall, but then mix it with 80% of the lie. Yeah. Amen. That's always been his tactic. Yeah, and you're rebuilding the wall that you may be their king. And you have appointed prophets to proclaim. You even got the church involved in this concerning you in Jerusalem saying, there's a king in Judah. There's a king in Judah. Now these matters will be reported to the king. I'm telling daddy. You know? And so come, therefore. Now you got to come and talk to us. No more of this, you're doing a good work, you can't come down. Therefore, let us, let us consult. All we want is to talk to you, Nehemiah, out here on the other side of that wall in enemy territory. That's right. Amen, somebody? Amen. Yeah. Amen. He always wants you to fight him on yes, his turf. Yes, yep. yes. Victory goes to those who picked up the, the battleground. That's right. The elevated position, and that elevated position is in Christ far above Hallelujah. principalities Hallelujah. and power. So then I sent to them, no such things as you say are being done, but you invent them in your own heart, for they are all trying to make us afraid. That's and that's, right. the, that's the devil's goal, fear. Mm -hmm. If you'll notice, the Bible says, I did not give you a spirit of fear, fear. amen, right. but of love, of power, and a sound mind. Yes. So when it comes to fear, two things you need to understand. Number one, it's a spirit. Mm -hmm. I didn't give you a spirit. We look at it as emotion or a mental consent. That's right. It's not. That's right. It's a spirit. That's because right. the inspired, inerrant, infallible word of God says, I didn't give you a spirit That's right. of fear. The second thing you need to understand about fear is it's not from God. That's yeah. right. right. Amen, somebody? That That's spirit right. is not from God. If you look, God created the earth in six days, and behold, everything was good. There was no fear. That's right. Until then, they were naked and, and not ashamed and, and this and that. And it wasn't until sin and Satan took uh, over yeah, that fear is. set in. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so that's what he wants you to do. He wants to get you afraid. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and yesterday's Goliath, you know, David, David fought the giant and won, but he failed on the giant of, of Bathsheba. Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. And so what's what's a battle for you, you know, might not be a battle for someone else, but yeah. what's a battle for you Amen. might not be different. And so Amen. with that, he says, no such thing as you're saying, but you want to make us afraid and so, there, and so that the people's hands will be weakened by the work and it will not be done. Now, therefore, oh God, strengthen my hands. Mm -hmm. This is what they're trying to do to weaken us. I need you to do the yes, opposite. Yes, I need yes. you to do the opposite. Afterwards, I came to the house of Nashima. Now watch this. The son of D Delilah, the son of... Whoever that guy is, Meth, somebody, who was a... Now, this guy, uh, Lisa, can you pronounce that one? Mehadabel. What she said. Mehadabel, who was a secret informer. There's those wheats and tares again. This is a guy that's been the whole time, he's been there with a trowel and a spear building this wall, but he's of the enemy's camp, right? He's a secret informer, and he said, hey, uh, let us meet together in the house of God. Like, hey, let's, let's go to church together. Amen? Amen. Let's go to church together uh, within me and, and, and let us close the door. Because he was there when Nehemiah, I guess, got that letter saying, hey, we're telling the king, this is treason, you're going to die. The same guy, I, I don't know if they knew that the, the guy they're sending the letter to is the one that sent him and that he has favor on him, you know. But, but let us go into the temple of God and let us close the doors of the temple for they are coming to kill you. Indeed, at night, they were going to come, they're going to kill you. And, and I said, and I love this, Nehemiah knows who he is yes. and whose he is. Yes. That's right. Amen, That's somebody? Right. Should a man such as I flee? Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. Are you a child of the, the king today? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Then you should not be fleeing That's from right. battle. You That's should be right. running towards it. Yep. Amen. When you And when you get a hold of who he is mm -hmm. and who you are to him, mm -hmm. You'll run to the battle. You'll take the fight to the enemy. Amen. And so he said, should a man such as I flee? And who is there such as I who would go into the temple to save his life? Friends, where you are is not where you start, but I need you to remember who you are. That's right. Today, I believe the Lord wants you to remember mm -hmm. who you are. Yep. And so uh, who is there such as I then? And, and so with that, man, he's got discernment. Then I perceived that God had not sent this guy at all. Uh, yeah, that's right. This guy was a banana. That's right. Amen, somebody? He that's knew right. him by his fruit. That's so don't right. tell me that Judge Nod and this and that, well, the same guy that's that said funny. that said, you know, you'll know him by their fruit. And he went on to say, hey, remove the plank from your eye. Then you'll be able to see her clearly to remove the speck from your brothers. I'm not saying don't judge. It's just saying, man, do it, do it with righteous judgment. I love what uh, Shelley said. When she got up here and gave her testimony one day. <coughs> She's like, people say, don't judge me. She's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not the judge. I'm the juror. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand there next to Christ when he got cast down judgment, and I'm going to say, your judgment is just. That's right. Oh, Lord. That's right. Amen. It says one day we will judge angels. Mm -hmm. He's like, is there not one among you that can judge among the things of God? And so this guy, then I perceived that God had not sent this guy at all. This guy said he was a Christian. He looked like a Christian. He walked like a Christian. Mm -hmm. He's on this side of the wall, but God hadn't sent him. That's right. But that he pronounced this prophecy, and he, he's prophesying false prophecy. That's oh, called a test. Sure. That's called a testimony. Amen. Is what they call that. Testimony. That's called a testimony. He gets up here. Oh, this and that. You know. I think I got a little bit of one of those last night with somebody at my church. <laughs> And he prophesied this against me and Sam Ballot. But Sam Ballot had hired him. For this reason, he was hired, that I should be afraid and act that way and sin, so that they might have cause for an evil report that they might reproach me. Um, I was in rehab down in Florida, and um, the teacher, he was man so spirit filled you couldn't tell where he ended and the Lord began he was there preaching and this and that and you just had to kind of watch this guy his name was the chief Jesse the chief Myers because out of all the sinners he was the chief right mm -hmm. and so one day he's just talking out of nowhere he's like if somebody say something about you you make sure they're lying I'm like what did he just say he's like if somebody gonna say something about you you make sure they're lying amen somebody and I'm like oh man and that hit me mm -hmm. man if somebody says something about me they're gonna be lying because, man, I'm going to walk with the Lord. I'm going to walk in obedience. I'm going to Amen. walk in righteousness Hallelujah. and holiness under the Lord. And so yes. with that, I love this. And, and Nehemiah's got the same thing here, that I should be afraid and act that way so that they might actually have a cause for a report. And so if they did say something, it was going to be a lie. And so what he says is, My God, remember Tobiah and Sam Ballot according to their works and the prophetess and, 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 and the rest of these people 
who would have made me afraid. And so where you are is not where you finish. Nehemiah had went from the butler, and then the next thing we need to see is transformation completed. So the wall was finished. I love that. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, we kept building. So we started Praise the wall. God. But the wall was finished on the 25th day of Elu in 52 Hallelujah. days. Hallelujah. Man, uh, they've had I-75 under construction for the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. We need these guys. We need these guys. 52 Hallelujah. days. Lord, send us some of these, Lord, in yeah. the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. But not only that, not only did the wall get finished, but Nehemiah got finished too. <laughs> Moreover, from that time on, I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah from oh, the 20th yeah. year until the 32nd year. 12 years, this guy's the, Jude, or the, the governor uh, of King Xerxes. 12 years, neither I nor my brethren ate the governor's provision. They, they had provision coming in from this and that, but he, he just gave it away. And now watch this. This guy was the butler serving the tables. And at my table were 150 Jews and rulers. Hallelujah. Amen. Now they're serving him. Amen. Those who are faithful with little yes. will be entrusted yes. with much. Yes. yes. Amen. Friends, this is the end of it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise where we God. are as the Kentucky Jail Ministry. Thank you, Lord. It's not where we finish. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, man, we took some hits. COVID mm -hmm. took some numbers on us, took away some of our freedoms like this jail thing we just talked about in the praise reports. Amen, somebody? Well, yeah, they're taking in Bibles, you know. They're taking in Asenath books, this and that. Man, we used to be able to, Pete Shockey had a bag here. We could have smuggled Nick, Nick in it, you know. It was so yeah. big and on wheels. We could have put inmates out, <coughs> you know. And, and when we come back, man, in 2020, man, it was uh, March of last year, 2023, man, we were down in numbers. We were down in spirit and this and that. There was a lot of division unspoken unaddressed stuff but we started dealing with it like as a man or woman of god you should be the most approachable person on the planet yes and if somebody says hey you got a chink in your armor well you know what i'm sorry i i may not agree with that or maybe i do but i'm going to go pray about it i'm going to see it you know and, and that's what we do we come together we unite but where we are is not where we finish i believe with all of my heart that the the best days of the Kentucky Jail Ministry are in front of us. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 So where where we are is not where we finish. Friends, where you are is not where you finish. Amen. God has a calling on all of your lives. Amen. Amen. He's really got a calling on Miss June's life there. I'm, I'm looking forward to standing next there and watching that fire burn. Amen. Amen. Somebody yes. better put my hands on it. And so with that, uh, God's got something for you. But there's going to be naysayers. There's going to be sabotage. Amen. There's going to be uh, the attacks of the enemy. There's going to be the game players and this and that. And man, the same way that that that, that Jacob wrestled with God, you're going to have to wrestle with these guys. Uh, like the old song says, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. You know. And with that, I didn't know we we're going to worship with that song today, Tom. That wasn't planned. But with that, man, there's sometimes there's sometimes, man, where where I gotta I gotta confront somebody. I mean, there are sometimes where I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing a good work. I can't come down. And there's going to come times where you need to do that, too. And last but not least, uh, this is why we're here, the inmates. Mm -hmm. Doug, I updated it. Yeah. Yeah. it, updated it. Where you are, Doug, is just where you finish. And as ministers and chaplains of the Kentucky Jail Ministry, this is the message you need to be taking to them yes. behind them bars. Yes. Yes. Uh, friends, we might, oh, thank you, Jesus. You might not be able to take them Bibles behind bars but friends you sh you are the bible yeah. amen somebody you right. are the walk and talk and word of god if that's you put right. in the time that's and effort right. to bury your face in this book that's and get right. along with the lord and Hallelujah. seek his face you are that bible amen. yes amen and so with that when you go in there this is what you're preaching man where you are right now is not where you finish Doug. This is, this is not where you finish, right. buddy. That's he was right. at our uh, Friday night recovery service last night. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, hey, Tom was falling asleep a little. I ain't going to lie. I <laughs> 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 A couple people, hey, I, I preached an hour down there on Friday. So a couple people got sleepy. Tom wasn't one of them. But Doug was tuned in that whole time, buddy. He was zeroed in. He was here last Saturday. He's here today. He's been in communication. And you keep doing those things. It's not the big things. That's right. It's the yep. little foxes that spoil the vine. That's right. And so if you just keep doing this, stay hungry. Mm -hmm. The Bible says if you hunger and thirst, you shall be filled. Amen. 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 And stay right. teachable. 
Mm -hmm. Keep climbing. Keep learning. You stop learning, you stop living. That's right. That's and so, right. man, uh, tell these guys, man, where you are right now is not where you finish. And tell them, hey, come on out here to Dream Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we'd love to show you.